Hello everyone, it's Akatrius here and I welcome you to another video, another episode of Library of Ruina. Last time we did, or rather we finally finished the Leo Section 2 receptions with, uh, with Lowell, Cecil and May. Off screen, I have indeed gotten Lowell's page and also all the other pages from, uh, from Leo Office. I've gotten all the pages from another general reception, which we will do at a later time because it's it's actually pretty stressful. It was harder than Leo section two, and that's weird, really. But what we got from that is, and I don't know, I don't remember who I've got it on. I think I've got it on you. Is we have stiletto. Which is Pierce Dice Power plus 2, Blend Slash Dice Power minus 2. So, of course, this is very Pierce based. I do have two cards of Slash in here, but yeah. Today, we are going to do the, the second episode of The Thumb. This one. It's a free uh, actor, and I believe we have got two four floors to use here. So, I set up two floors to use here. First out, we've got Malkuth's floor. Still with the same Philip page, still with the same Reinhardt page. Uh, Charlotte got a little update. Charlotte is now on a Lowell and Singleton Burn. Ba uh, burn. I think we were on Singleton Burn before. But yeah, it's, it's just Lowell with more HP regen and also stagger regen. So we, we got uh, Cecil's and Maze passives on him, or rather on Charlotte. Like they did in the actual fight. You've got Ashley. And yes, I finally renamed some of my characters. Uh, still on the same build as before, I put Wedge on here instead of the uh, Slash equals Bleed thing. And then we've got Angel, who is still doing pew pew things. I uh, I updated uh, this deck a little bit. Because, well, there's, there's one thing I could put in here, which is the, uh, the Emma thing. Where is it? Should be here somewhere. Was it not here? Which was the ammo thing with, with high level acrobatics. That's what one I meant. Uh, we've got it right here on, on this angel. The high level acrobatics when using a page with three or higher, all dice gain plus one power. Honestly. <coughs> This already deals a heck of a, lot of, uh, of a lot of damage, so I'm not too bothered. Like, this is very focus fire based. This is a focus fire deck. With uh, getting a lot of ammunition. The only thing that's kind of sad is we don't have a good, good zero cost for it. You can see here that's... That's all the five cost. That's all the, all the exclusive cards. So we're not running shock round, we're not running suppressing shot, we're just using these. Uh, on the hot side, we've still have, we still have Ben we added Kim's page on a slash based bleed deck. We've got Valesa holding the Dong One page on a pierce based uh, on a pierce bleed based deck without tailoring though, because we already have Disgorge innards as our uh, as our big boy. <coughs> We've got Tyrea over here, using the same blood deck she has been using before. We didn't really get too many new blood cards. And if not too many, I mean none. So, <clears throat> nothing to upgrade here. Uh, we've got Vessel over here. Vessel is <coughs> this side of a, of a Pew Pew. Just with a little more draw and a little different setup. Actually, you don't... You do have a bit of heal, but actually no. Let's let's keep it like this. And we've got Tasha still on the Nemo page. Uh, same thing as before. This should be sufficient to do the reception we want to do. So let us do it. Book of a Bum, Book of Leaves Association. Let's go. Hey, 
리우 협회는 무슨 바람이 들어서 버려진 둥지를 들쑤시고 다니는 건지 안 그래도 검지에다가 알사 때문에 정신없는데 게다가 최근 이곳에서만 뒤틀림을 자주 목격하고 있고 이런저런 마찰로 쓸만한 놈 절반이 당했어 모두 뒤틀림에 대해 찾는다더라 이 둥지와 도서관은 뒤틀림과 꽤 연관했다고 판단했나 봐그 말대로 다른 곳보다 유독 이 둥지에서 빈번하게 발생하고 있고 안녕하십니까 자비에 앉게 다들 말한 것처럼 검지와 리우 그리고 알사가 이 둥지를 들쑤시고 있지 그뿐만 아니라 푸른 잔향과 보라 눈물도 이곳에 있다더군요 푸른 잔향이라 Two color fixes We did hear Did we hear of purple tea yet? 보였습니다 무엇이 푸른 잔향 패거리를 이곳으로 부르는 것 같나 도서관이겠죠 네로라 하는 녀석들이 도서관에서 꽤 당하기도 했고 결국 도서관을 차지하는 놈이 이 지루한 싸움의 승자가 되겠네 그렇지만 저희가 직접 가려고 해도 도서관의 초대장이 사라져버려요 마치 우리를 들여보내지 않으려는 것처럼 지금까지는 그랬지 입수에도 사라지고 빼앗아도 사라지고 하지만 오늘 나에게 직접 초대장이 왔다네 리우 협회의 책을 마련했다고 적혀 있다군 지금 우리에게 필요한 책이네요 리우 협회만 대처 가능하다면 이 둥지의 절반을 가져올 수 있으니까요 숨통을 확실하게 조일 수 있겠어 언더보스와 카포가 직접 도서관에 들어가시게요? 검지의 전령인가? 같은 소리하면 혀를 뽑을 거야 엄지는 언제나 날이 서 있네요 오늘은 저도 여러분의 피를 보고 싶지 않아요 시답자는 도발이나 하려고 온건 아닐 텐데 칼로 언더보스님 잠시 이야기를 전달해도 될까요? 검지는 최소한의 예의를 알아서 좋지 말해보게 제 의견이지만 가지 않으시는 게 좋을 거예요 가서 책이 되어버릴 가능성이 큰걸요 이 구역을 관리하는 엄지 언더보스가 사라지면 이곳을 장악하는 건 검지가 되겠죠 게다가 당신의 책을 검지가 얻기라도 한다면 검지 꺾기가 힘들어지는 건 물론이고 되려 엄지 전체에게 큰 피해가 가지 않겠어요? 이거 더물건 지령이 아닌 일개 전령의 의견인가? 난 검지의 지령을 인정하지 전령 나부랭이의 개인적인 의견을 인정하는 게 아니야 엘사에 남아있는 검지에게 전해라 이번 일이 끝나면 엄지를 욕보인 죄로 이빨과 혀를 뽑아 개들에게 던져주겠다고 그리고 너는 여기 있어 온전히 돌아가지 못한다 결국 이렇게 되네요 윗사람을 거슬리게 하는 자는 혀를 <웃음> 심기를 거스르기만 해도 처용하네 상대가 누구든 간에 가리지 않아 그러네 검지라면 다섯 손가락 중 하나일 텐데 저번에도 들었지만 계급도 꽤 중요한 것 같고 맞아 자기보다 높은 계급의 사람에게는 깍듯이 대해야 해 함부로 이름을 언급하는 것도 먼저 말을 꺼내는 것도 안돼 모든 일에 허락을 구해야 하지 뭐 항상 그런 건 아니고 가끔 지위가 높은 사람이 권위를 넘길 때가 있긴 한데 그런 경우는 드문 편이니까 보통 1급 해결사가 카포와 동급이라고 생각하는데 계급이 다르다는 이유로 눈도 못 마주치게 한다니까 하여튼 엄지든 검지든 정상은 아니야 난 오히려 복잡하지 않고 깔끔해 보이는걸? 다들 큰 부상은 없나? 방해가 되는 놈은 쓸모없으니까 말이야 네, 괜찮습니다 골치 아프긴 했어요 검지는 전령이라도 상대하기 껄끄럽단 말이죠 윗사람을 존중할 줄 모른다면 
확실히 알려줄 필요가 있어. 그나저나 괜찮으십니까? 일개 전령의 말이었지만 안전 그리고 엄지를 위해 남는 편이 더 나으셨을 수도 있습니다. 자기 아까림부터 하는 것이 먼저일 텐데. 환영합니다, 선님. 저는 이곳의 관장이자 사서인 엔젤라입니다. 흥미롭네. 분명 이곳의 관장은 기계라고 들었는데 완전히 기계인 것도 아닌가? 다짜고짜 기계니 인간이니 상당히 거슬리네. 도시의 별인 이것 주인은 언더보스 인나보다도 높은 계급. 예의는 지켜야 하지 않겠나, 카트리엘. 어, 오케이. 모래를 범했네요. 대가를 치르겠습니다. 테니스, 내 혀를 잘라줘. 어. 카트리엘이 실수는 해도 반성이 빨라 좋지. 이것으로 저희의 모래를 용서해 주시기 바랍니다. 그 녀석 말대로 죄다 또라이네. 부디 너희가 원하는 책을 찾을 수 있길 바랄게. <웃음> All right, the thumb two. We only get to use four librarians. Okay, this makes measures easier, I believe. And we have two floors available. All right. Um. I do want to have at least one gun. So in that respect, maybe it's nice. Maybe it's good to not use a charge here. And this I can uh, use late, decide later. But I suppose this is where Malkuth actually goes away. But we'll we'll be starting with uh with Heart's floor with a floor of literature. Let's go. Well, they're not very talkative. That's fine by me. Let's see what we've got here. Good thing is, at the start, they'll barely even use their ranged attacks, which is nice. Alright, bayonet combat here and reload. Oh, wait, maybe we should reverse that. Bayonet combat here and reload here. So my heart is very strong on the slash side. Nothing can really face her if it comes to f if it comes to slash. Same with uh with Valesa and Pierce. Actually, I might want to fleet edge here and danger press here. And you can just creep gaming. Yep, yep, let's go. Very good. Yeah, barely anyone can actually damage her. I say as someone damaged her. That should be a stagger. That is indeed a stagger on turn one. Alright. So someone has explained to me how a look of a day works and I like it. It's just I barely I rarely actually have the ability to wait. So that's kinda awkward, but whatever. Uh since you would discard this anyway. All right, we got class and respect, and to overcome crisis. Ooh, that will hit. That will most, most indeed, it will hit. I can try with class and respect, but that first one is brutal. <coughs> All right, uh, you do this, and you do. I suppose you do this. Let's go. Cool. 
And that's dead. Nice. Nice, nice. Alright, Cocoon on to you again. We have to watch out that Hot doesn't actually take much more damage here. We can focus fire. And then we can uh, Bayonet. Okay, uh, I don't want this. This should be enough of that. And this should be enough of that. You go first, I believe, so that's, that's big. And that's the only thing you can do. Yep. Big damage. I like it. This is working kind of well. Even though I have not been actually watching with faces. I've just been very lucky with them. Okay. Where do you... Here. I do not like that. Well, whatever. You can mangle here as well as overcome crisis. And you just do what you do best, which is not a lot. Uh, we wait for the, for the, for this one. Yikes. Creek Gaming. Mango should kill. Yep. Dennis is dead. Alright, and now we get to decide on our first... Uh, now we get to decide on our first ego page. And... Ooh, that's good. That's actually good. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I think I want... I always take the mass attacks with this, because they feel safer for me. And I think I'll keep that tradition alive. Especially if it's a blunt. Okay, it doesn't matter if she dies anyway, so let's just, let's just gun her down. Yeah, that gun build works way better than the old one. The old one I had the problem that I barely had the ammunition in hand, but always the, uh, the range attacks. And now that the only range attacks we use are the free cost ones, that's actually pretty pretty safe. We lost minimal health there too. All right. Uh... Dice of this page and flash. Uh, pay clashing with it or unaffected by power gain or loss. Okay. That's cool if I use Brawl with this. Also, this die has rolled uh, three times as big. It's got Blood Mastery right there. Okay. But he has no ranged pages as far as I can see. Yeah, he's, he's purely. Ooh, but Street Knuckles is extremely good I like this anyway let's just go <laughs> all right focus fire is the first thing Alright, you go here, and you know what? Use Focus Fire. The best way to clash with it is that, so we do it. Alright, he's using Street Knuckles, so I want to use Mangle here. And Sharp Blade on one of the unused dice. Uh, 
Forceful Gesture and Creek Gaming. Can use Will of Pre Spirit here. I don't think you'll pull this out. Ah, wait, actually. Actually, it's a sturdy defense here. And use your haste thing here. Let's go. Big. And I forgot to wait out for expression. Ah. Uh, Well, we still do a good damage, even though we're a minus one. <laughs> okay, our blunt guy does not have the has that not it that doesn't have enough stuff, but we use this anyway. Mm. Okay, you only have zero left, but. So good. Uh, do you have Creek Gaming? No, but you have Puppet Blockade and Giga Gig. Alright. Mm. You do this, then you also do this, then you also do eh. this. Uh, you can focus fire pretty well there. Let's go. Start with the Black Swan. That's a stagger right there. Well, Annette comes down. Frontal Assault comes down. That means she's dead. Oh, this is a neutral phase, that's fine. That was medium damage. Alright, number four. Uh I like this actually, but I wanna give it to someone else. You take it because you can technically do the most attacks. And we take Sanguine Desire for now. Alright. This is all Slash, so we use it with her. Which works well for me, because she'll... Uh, she has... Not very big attacks anyway. Uh... Yep. Yep. And yep. You can also do this. You can do this twice. Actually don't. Uh you can just do this then. Oh, but you can use this on there. And a focus fire because it's funny. <laughs> Alright, Boris almost dead. Boris is dead. And we did not kill the two small ones. Huh. Sanguine Desire's still up because we didn't actually use it. Use this here, but also Mangle? Yeah. That's a lot of ammo! <laughs> and now for the first time, we do not have anything to restore it, uh, to use it with. Ah, you only have two, eh? Whatevs. Yep. Uh, 
The best thing about this floor setup is we have all three damage types as one main guy. We have uh, Hard as the Slash, Valesa as the Pierce, and Tyrea as the Blunt. Which means that the other two can literally be anything. They could be buffers, they could be debuffers, or ranged. Alright, we've got Catriel and Carlo now. We're still on the first floor. We didn't actually touch the second yet. <sighs> Oh, Lyrigol is actually pretty nice. Also, a uh, this is interesting. This is a um, a melee. Uh, melee discard, which is, which is fine. Doesn't grant me much more though. Also, this is nice. This is insanely nice. Not sure. Oh yeah, he can use uh, he can use ranged attacks, which is great. But yeah, I want I want Carlos Page on one of the ranged guys at least. And here's some. I think up until free pull tenacity is what his skills actually are. Yeah. Let's just go. I don't think I don't think a lot will happen here. Alrighty. Well of prescript, you can start with Sanguine Desire. Mangle and Extreme Edge. I actually don't start with Sanguine Desire. Makes that a lot more sense if I use it in turn two. Alright, uh, I think. What do you use here? Okay. You spot here. Then. Oh. You don't intercept anyway. Oh, whatever. Gig 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 and blockade. Actually, two gig gigs. Do you get attacked? Yes. Just use focus fire here. A reload here. And draw the sword here. And then we do this. That should be a lot of damage. Nice. I didn't look at their expression again, I just hope I'm I'm lucky. I am absolutely unlucky. Yeah, if I looked at it just a little bit, this should have been a this could have been a good turn. But I screwed it up myself. Great first turn though. Alright. Sango and Desire for sure. The black swan comes from here. Yeah, we use two EGO pages in the same turn. What are we gonna do? Sue me? We pew pew. Ooh. Just pew pew this. Maybe bayonet combat twice, and that should be a good time. And you don't have any kind of light. So we just use. Zero costs. You can still use Overcome Crisis. Uh, let's see how well this goes. 
I again neglected to wait up. Right. This is may this might just be one of the receptions I could have done without EGO. He should be almost dead. Yeah. Uh, okay. They're actually using the ammunition to attack, huh? Even that. Better kill. Forty six damage. Yep. <laughs> yep, damage. Yep. All right, that's that. We did it. Current call for reception of the thumb number two. That was incredibly easier than I expected. I expected this to be difficult because it was a free actor with only two floors, but hmm. The main difficulty for the now I can say it, right? Because now I've I've done all of these. Oh. Kulchapumurumia, 하지만 그래 왔고 그래야만 하는 것에 대해 의문을 품어도 의미는 없을 테니까. 예전에 했던 일에 대한 교훈? 교훈이란 좋은 말로 포장할 수는 없겠네. 어쩔 수 없이 우겨 넣어야 했던 걸 교훈이라 할수 있을까? 그저 내가 지금까지 봐온 바로 목적 없는 삶을 살아가는 사람들은 그럴 수밖에 없었다고 생각하니까. 네가 전에 말했잖아. 그걸 조금은 이해할 수 있게 됐다는 거지. 검지나 엄지 자체의 규칙을 이해한다는 건 아니야. 물론 좋은 것도 나쁜 것도 다 개인의 시점에서 차이가 나는 거겠지만. 어쨌든 아까 검지의 전령이 했던 말대로 윗사람이 사라지니 엄지도 위험하겠네. 그렇지. 언더보스인 사람이 책이 되었으니 엄지도 곤란하겠어. 그렇다면 엘사 둥지에는 검지만 남아 있는 건가? 그건 잘 모르겠네. 이대로 물러날지 계속 버틸지는 그들의 판단에 맡겨야지. 우리가 신경 쓸 일은 아니니까. All right, and that was what I needed for Hogma to unlock his first anomaly battle too. Interesting, interesting. So we've done this time for real. This time for absolutely real. We've done the lower end of star of this city took a while but honestly none of these were actually hard they were when i was unprepared but at this point i think i can just breeze through it through them and that's pretty interesting to think about if we think about it all right let's burn the new books we got but we got two books of boris who was the melee one we got one book of catriel was pretty boring. Uh, two books of Dennis, one book of Carlo, and a lot of fun books. I will have to farm this a lot, so whatever. Ah, oh, yeah, I expected this. I expected only one key page, but that's fine because that was so easy, I can just do it again. Yeah. So, next time. On Library of Ruina, we will be doing finally after all these years. For this, yep, it is time for us to do the abnormality fight, starting with Gebra's first one, and we have we will try to do all the middle ones 
up to level two. I think I already got you to level. Oh yeah, level three. Oh, you are still two. So I will try next episode to at least get all of the middle floors to level two, and we'll see from then. So the next episodes will again be a uh, abnormality extravaganza. That is what I signed up for when I said I would do abnormality battles and bulks. I know that. That's my own fault. But I will stand to what uh, stand by what I said. And that includes doing these in bulk. So I hope you guys had a great time. I certainly did. We see, I see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.